Ciao a tutti and welcome back to another LucaVision video and today I'm going to be reviewing Diodato and his entry for the 2020 contest held in Rotterdam. Now for those of you who don't know how this works, I split the song down into four different categories. We have structure, lyrics, aesthetics and vocals. And out of each category, I score out of 10. To overall, give us a score out of 40. And then at the end of all of the reviews, I tally up and make my own LucaVision leaderboard. And I'll see who scored the highest. We all know after looking at the reaction that I was proper obsessed on first reaction with Diodato. The song is just so smooth and elegant and classy. But now we're gonna really delve in and break it down. Break it down now. So first and foremost, let's start with the vocals. Now, Diodato almost boasts and flexes his vocal prowess throughout the whole entire track. In the first verse, he uses soft and breathy vocals, and in every chorus, he uses emotive belts that really get across the rawness in his performance. And every now and then, he has a little falsetto moment, and it is so nice to hear, so pleasing on the ear. Now, what I find particularly impressive is that he manages to transition between belting into falsetto, and it is so difficult to do, but he manages to flip like that, so, Props to you, Diodato. He does it outstandingly. And I think what is really cool about the track is that in his vocals, you can hear the emotion. So you know the song is really raw and personal to him. And to all of those people who think that he is shouting, you can't shout with that great vibrato in the voice and the tone. So if that's shouting, he can shout to me every hour of every day. Also, before I move on, can I just say, hashtag talent, I listened to the studio version and it sounds identical to the live version. So you can tell there's no auto-tune, no vocal enhancements in the studio. He is just pure class. So that deserves a round of applause. So with all of that being said, the tone, the emotion, the rawness, the technicalities in his voice, I'm gonna have to give him. DHG! Now, the song structure is so, so slick. From the huge orchestral moments to the subtle piano motifs which stitches the track all together. The piano is present all the way through the track and it really does a good job of stitching the song together. Also, I just need to say, the middle eight is one of the most magical things I have ever heard in my life. And I went to Disneyland Paris so you should take my word for it. It's just so magical, it gives me goosebumps and it almost transports me to another place. My only critique of the track is that I wish the transitions between verses and choruses were a bit slicker, just because I'm just getting into the verse, feeling the magic, and all of a sudden, BAM! He belts with those vocals, I'm like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. I was in the moment. <laughs> and it's a bit of a shock if I'm honest, in a good way. Just imagine an old lady listening to that. It comes so out of the blue, it might give her a heart attack. Also, this is really, really picking out, but the ending just ends like that, and it leaves me wanting more. I'm on the edge of my seat like, what's next? What's next, Digadato? Oh, it's finished. That must be a good sign for Eurovision. So overall, my score for the structure is... Nobby! How's my Italian like numbers? Now, when looking at the aesthetics, it is clear to see that Diodato and the team went for something simple and subtle, just to let the song speak for itself. And to be honest, I think that is the best way forward. The track is just too powerful and it does not need fancy staging or dancers or fire breathers. It will just detract from the theme of the song. And when you've got that much emotion and rawness in his voice, it really emphasises every single emotion in the lyrics. Now, the major thing I have with the aesthetics is that I would love to see a screen behind with some images or a backstory. I would love to know the history of the song. And I know that you guys have been very, very helpful in telling me that the song was about his ex who also competed in San Remo. But I would love to see some visuals behind. Because for somebody that doesn't speak Italian, or for the casual listener, it would be really nice if they had some sort of info behind the track. Not everybody has you guys to help them. Also, Eurovision doesn't cater for a massive orchestra, which I would love to see on stage, by the way, because it's just magical. But a story to tell on screens or something would just really help the listener to connect and understand a lot more. So in which case, I'm gonna be scoring the aesthetics. Say, say what? Now we're on to my favourite, which is lyrics. Now lyrically, this song is just so emotional all the way through. The whole theme of painful silences after a relationship is so relatable to everybody. 
And metaphorically, it kind of says you don't know what you've got until it's gone. After all, being so deeply in love with somebody and being in a relationship with them it's a huge part of your life. And I think we can all take it for granted a little bit, can't we? And overall, as he says, moving on is so painful, but it's, it's all you can do. You have to, really. So with that being said throughout the whole song, the closing lyric is so deep and it actually gave me goosebumps. It really shows off his vulnerable side and it is really, really endearing. And that closing lyric is, I don't want to do without that beautiful noise you make. And it kind of gives me chills because it's showing the whole pain of missing somebody in the silences, but he wants that back, but he knows he needs to move on. So he's come to a bit of a crossroads and he doesn't really know which way to turn. And it's, it's a bit of a heartbreaker, isn't it really? Lyrically, it's so strong and so fresh and it comes from such a unique angle and perspective as well that I haven't really heard before. That must have been one deep songwriting session. But as with every LucaVision review, here is my Luke's lovesome lyric. I find myself in the same places again, exactly those places that I should have avoided and I'd pretend I don't remember and I'd pretend to forget. That just gives me shivers because he's drawing back and using emotion memory and looking back on a situation and scenario and it's almost like hindsight and it's, it gives me shivers. So in which case I'm giving the lyrics a novice! So there we have it, that is my LucaVision review all done. So overall, my LucaVision score for Diodato is... <laughs> 34 out of 40. Oh, these songs just seem to be getting better and better with each release. What did you guys think? Please let me know all of your opinions down in the comments section below because I love seeing the variety in all of your opinions. And it's the diversity that makes this competition special. Also, let me know what score you would have given it out of 10 for each category so I can see your overall scores out of 40. Join in the conversation. And before you shoot off anywhere, don't you forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button and the cheeky little bell notification button. And you won't miss out on any of my future videos coming this season. Also, why not check out my music on Spotify right now? Luke White, closed heart, dry eyes. Cheeky little plug plug. I'd love to know what you think about my music. All that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! So good to be free of my last night to read.